guys, welcome to my channel where we organize and make things beautiful. I'm Des and this is Sort and Style. I also love this wicker basket that I can hide the base of the tree in. But you'll have to wait till the end of this video to see how I cover this frame. He, I love setting up my Christmas tree. It's a lot of work, but I can be creative and it's so worth it. It's so nice to stare at once it's done. I'm always so sad when I need to take it down in early January, mainly because it's a big mission. The lights always go on first, then you can space them out evenly and cover up some of the cables with the decorations. Guys, I have this box of my tree decor and I just like going through it and separating everything so that all the like items are together. I do generally try and put everything together when I pack them away, but I just wanna, look how cute. Just organize it a little bit. That's what I'm gonna do. Guys, this you're supposed to put in your tree and then it looks like an elf is in your tree. Uh, I'm not going to be using these this year feel like my vibe this year is a little bit more classier than funnier. So maybe next year. We'll see. We'll see if that works. Okay guys, so I have tried to organize all the like baubles and decorations together. So these are my whitey kind of decor. That's the twine, gold over there, more whites over there. Those are the sprays um, and the picks. Over here, we've got some random baubles that don't actually go with anything. And over there are my special baubles. Guys, I've just unwrapped them quickly just so I can show you. So these two I think I got from my mom one year. This I got from a colleague at work. You know, because I have a bulldog and that's a pug and they look similar. So she got me that, which is very cute. This I got from Vanessa. Vanessa made this. She's so cute, guys. Look at that. How cute is that? So... That's special. And then these kind of, all of these, my sister gave me. So every year my sister goes to Isle of Man for work and she always, always, always goes to Harrods and gives us, buys us these ornaments, me and my mom, because she knows my mom and I love Christmas. I wanted to say this on camera. I feel like even though this doesn't go, although this will go red, but like this one, which is my new one she got this year for me. How beautiful. Even though this might not go with my scheme, I'm still going to use this. And I'm still going to put it front and center because this is what's special. And I'd rather have these kind of things that don't look like they don't look like they go with the theme or anything like that i'd rather have something like this that is special than have my tree be perfectly aesthetically pleasing because this is what christmas is this is you know it's special and i'd rather have this than a perfect tree so this year guys my sister actually got me two baubles this is the one. How beautiful. I mean, three baubles. She got me three. So the one is because I broke one last year. 
so she got me two. So this is the other one. And then this one is from Isle of Man, because she hasn't got any more than them. And so, I got it. Guys, can you see? She got me two blue baubles. It's just showing you that blue is in season, is very on trend this Christmas. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should do blue next year. Look at that. I got blue baubles already, so maybe that's my scheme for next year. Okay guys, so now it's time to put up the ornaments and um, I like to do it with the lights on so that you can see where you're going to place it when you place the ornament onto the tree, you know, you see how the lights are going to look with it, if it's going to cover a light, you know, to just move the light a little bit as opposed to switching the lights on at the end and then having to try and move everything all at one time. So just like to put on the ornaments with the lights on. As I said before, styling is styling. Whether you're decorating a tree or a cabinet, um, the same principles apply. You wanna use different textures, um, different objects, different shapes, um, you know, and place it all in a way that creates balance. We're gonna use that zigzag method that I spoke about when I was styling my cabinet. Let's get started. I always start with the special ornaments um, because that way you can then choose exactly where they're gonna, they're gonna be placed in the best spot, front and center where everyone can see. <gasps> you -hoo -hoo! Oh, this one broke also. My okay. Guys, so there are a lot of white. I've got a lot of white baubles. So I'm going to put these twine type baubles that we made. Try and put them as close to the white so that the whites, um, you know, so that it contrasts a bit. So that we don't put so many whites together. With um, your baubles and your ornaments, you want to try and create some dimension. Um, so it's perfectly fine to put some of the ornaments deeper inside the tree than others so that you create that depth and dimension. Guys, how cute are these little ornaments where you can put like a little photo in and like just putting it up made me smile. Like, so that just shows you how special they are. Like, I love these things. Oh, it broke now also. Guys, I love the look of the oranges. Okay, I think that's enough ornaments. Um, yeah. I'm now going to put on these picks. Um, it just gives a bit more texture and also creates a little bit of depth because you can have them stick out a little bit. So. Okay guys, now we have our garlands that we've made. We're gonna put that up. Actually, I should have put the picks up last. Should have put this up first, but it's fine. We're gonna do this now. Yo, I made a lot. 
Yo. This is the end of this. Hello. No. <gasps> Guys, this is one of the reasons that you put the garland straight after the lights. So it's lights, garland or tinsel, then ornaments. But trust me, it's easier to do it in the right order. Ah! One of my baubles broke. And it was a pretty one. Oh, use the special ones. I must be careful here now. Ish. Oh, no! I'm not going to make like a bow because I've got limited ribbon that I need to use for the whole house as well. So I'm just literally just going to tie it to a branch. Guys, I love my tree. I need to get my tree top because that one also broke. I need to get that and then, yeah, we're just going to finish bottom piece it's beautiful I'm just gonna put a little blanket around there to cover and um, I've got like this um, shaggy rug thing that I'm also gonna put over I'm um, just trying to be careful guys I've been looking at the tree for a while and I know I said that the, the thinner ribbon looks better but just I've been looking at the tree and something just doesn't look right and I think it's because this garland this white garland is so chunky that you don't even really see it like takes away from the ribbon um, so you don't really even notice the ribbon so I think I'm actually gonna go for the thicker ribbon Oops. I'm gonna take those ribbons out and just replace it with a bit of a thicker ribbon. Ta-da! Let's move that up there. Guys, and that's our Christmas tree. Ta-da! Um, I'm super happy the, how it turned out. I'm glad we changed the ribbon to a thicker ribbon. The thicker ribbon does look better. And yeah, that's our Christmas tree for the year. It's got a little bit of bread in it to go with the theme. We're adding little touches of bread and I think it turned out super interesting, super pretty. Um, the one thing I wanted to want to do more of is these grapefruit like I love the the look of it it just brings in like a little bit of fruity natural foodie vibe I love it I'm gonna add a little bit more of those I think but here's the Christmas tree guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please press the like button leave a comment and go and subscribe if you haven't already Guys, I will see you again very soon for the next Christmas video. My mantle. Hmm. Have a good day, guys. See you soon. Bye.